Hello and welcome to my, um, I believe this is the third episode of my Pentagon Challenge and today I am going to be facing a team called Shen Zin and um, basically since the last episode these have been my results and you can probably tell that I've scored a lot of goals. Um, it's been it's very attacking football. You can also see I've only kept one clean sheet since the last game. <laughs> so it's just very attacking. But it's good. To, oh, the games have been good. It's funny that the only game that's been goal I haven't scored was the last game I showed. So hopefully we get some goals and it's an entertaining game for you today. Um, let me just show you the team quickly. Um, yeah, this is, I'm still using this... Um, line up is working well um, but yeah this oh, he's still injured so I can't play him I'm just going to go for the same team um, oh wait he's back sorry two secondos let me just check yeah, that's the guy I like bring on him Yun Si Yong the Liang and we'll do that Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, perfect. Yeah, but as I was saying, um, I had um, gone and um, when I had my um, press conference, I by mistake pressed the wrong um, button and I've gone and let me said that I think we're going to lose this game and the players are not happy about that. Um, yeah, whatever. A good feeling about this game anyway. Beautiful. There we go. Come on, boys. Well, this is a smaller pitch than what we're used to. Our home stadium is a massive pitch. It's a big stadium. We don't fill it up. It's one of the stadiums that was used in the Olympics in Beijing. Well, it's not in Beijing, but it was one of the stadiums that is was used for the Beijing Olympics. Got decent players there. I don't. I'm not entirely sure. I think it might be top two that finish that qualify for Champions League. So that's what I'm going to be hoping for. We're doing all right, as you can see here. Um, this is a game we should win. We are dominating. We often seem to start games very well and then towards the end other teams we, we can see a lot of late goals. We haven't got our we've got we've got this guy, um the twenty one year old if you have seen my other videos, the twenty one year old I bought from Andelet Wang Xiang Yong here, who's actually um, an attacking midfielder playing up front because he's the best of the um, of the rest. I've got you because you can only have a certain amount of foreign players, and both my strikers are foreign, so I've had to and um, I've had to pick one of the Chinese guys um, to come in, and he's doing a real right job, Wang. So young. And there we go. And there's one of the foreign players, Elias from Brazil. Um, he's been complaining. His contract's running out and he wants a big contract. But I've got I've got a decent amount of money and it may be worth it. Um signing and getting him to sign a new contract. Or I might be able to get someone else that is good. I've got the money to spend. I've not got a huge amount of money, but I've got a reasonable amount to get someone reasonable in. If there wasn't all these laws with um, foreign players, it'd make it a lot easier. But it's much harder. And my aim is, what I've been doing is been looking at the Chinese squad. I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to get the best players from China. Because in the end of the day, that's 
what I'm going to be competing against. This, I think one of the reasons why there's so many goals is because I've got two foreign strikers against Chinese defenders. But yeah, I think the positions in which I've got um, foreign players are probably the best positions. I've got a centre back, and actually, I think Yun Sung Yun. You can you're allowed one non Asian player. Oh, sorry. Wait, I've got a penalty. Where the hell did that come from? You know what? I had that. I did not. I did not see where that came from. That's another goal for Elias, and it's a good season for him. Look, it's it's ridiculous. I've been winning so many games. I've won eight out of eleven games. Drawn two, lost one, and I'm third in the league with a seventeen goal difference. That just shows you how many goals everyone's. There must be a, there's a massive goal, golf in class. Look at that. Two points at the bottom. There's all these teams that are grouped together at the top that are near each other. But hopefully this game, it's been all us, that we could have had quite a few. Training facilities and the youth facilities are getting upgraded. I'm, I'm, I could have got a lot much, lot worse jobs as my first job. It was worth the wait. I'm liking this team. Let's hope we can finish this off. These teams off there. We could do with the goals. It's an interesting league. I do, I, the thing is, the Chi I don't know how the Chinese teams compare to the other Asian teams because I need to think about that when it comes to the Champions League. Because maybe I may. Oh, it's another penalty. And Elias for the hat trick, a first half hat trick you can have here. And surely the game would be in doubt if this goes in. And it's gone in. Hat trick. you got to love that. And with that goal, we've, we've, over, we've overtaken Shandong on goals scored. Um, it's pretty amazing though. But yeah, I what I was saying was I don't know how how good they are compared to um, the other Asian teams because maybe what I would do is see if I can get offered a job off because I'm, I'm at the moment it looks like we're going to finish in a good position and maybe I'll be able to get a job at one of the other Asian clubs which are in another country which is easier to attract better players or I don't know, well, I wanna, I'll have a season with Jiang Su in the Champions League if I do manage to get in the Champions League um, ooh, Elias is injured, I don't want him to get further injured so I'm going to take him off for um, Ari Um, and we're going to take off someone that's tired, we'll see, and take him off for, um, dang, he, these two both came on and scored for me in the last game, so give him another chance, but if you look, these players are not good, Compa com I mean, compare them to the players I'm taking them off for. Like Elias. Elias is about five times better than Bari. But you compare Bari to some of the defenders he's playing against. They're at a similar level. Well not that similar, Bari isn't that great. But you get you get what I mean. 
So that's what makes this um, division quite interesting because everyone's best players really are the foreign players. And I think some teams don't buy the right foreign players and I've I've got a good set of foreign players which is good. Um right, I think I'll probably take some key off. And I'll bring on um Tower One and he's leaving and um, in like in a few months I've had a deal I accepted the deal for him, he was really annoying me, he kept complaining. So I just gave him what he wanted. So he doesn't get in my first team. But yeah, we'll see how he does coming on. This looks like nothing else is gonna happen in this game. And it's a good result. Is that the ends? Blow the whistle ref. And it's gonna be a clean sheet if it stays like this, which we haven't which is the second clean sheet and the last clean sheet we had was in the first episode and um, the second episode, the first episode was an introduction but yeah, great result and I'm really happy about that um, let me just show you where that leaves us in the table um, look at that, 30 shots could have been worse, it should have been worse two of them, two of my goals were penalties remember as well um, so yeah I'm second uh, which is really good um, but yeah so I hope you enjoyed the episode if you haven't already subscribed comment in the comments box below if there's any videos you'd like to see me do or um, any players you'd like to see me sign or just anything like as well um, subscribe I've said that already but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you will watch my videos in the future.